Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Yes. How are you? How are you today? Um, please. All right. What did you do? Um, I have an exam. Yes. Um, today I mm -hmm. go to school and have a exam. Oh, you had exam. an exam. How was your exams? It's good. <laughs> okay. Did you all answer uh, all the attempts? Yeah. Oh, good to know. That's great. Okay. Well, after exams, what did you do? Good plan for two. Mm -hmm. Um, I prepare to tomorrow exam. Oh, you're preparing for school tomorrow? Yeah. Oh, really? I see. Okay, and I guess you're a little bit tired for today's um exams. Okay, and what did you eat for dinner? I eat meat and vegetable and rice. Oh, that's good. Okay, so the dinner was um satisfying. Okay, well, tell me about the weather. How is the weather today? It is. Okay, I see. <clears throat> okay, thank you. Well, tonight we're going to continue to study your book. So just wait, I'll share it with you. Can you see your book? Yes. Okay, so we're going to talk about mammals and birds. Okay, I guess you have this one in your science class. So just a recap of what you have learned. Okay, so the children in the picture are going to act in a play. They are making signs for the animal characters in the play. So let's read first. Let's read what's in the box. Can you read some? Some children are drawing mammal. mammals. Mammals. A mammal is an animal that has food and teeth. Most mammals have your legs. Some children are drawing birds. But both are animals that have two legs, two wings, and feathers. Most both can fly on two. One child. Two, one child is trying a bath. Correct. Okay. Again, we have a highlight, uh, highlighted words there like mammals and birds okay what is again a mammal a mammal is a kind of animal so a mammal is an animal that has fur and teeth okay give me an example of a mammal it also has four legs example of a mammal mm. Okay. Yes. Um, I don't. Yeah, mammals. A dog. Correct. A dog. It has four legs and it has fur and teeth. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and birds. Birds are, what are birds? Birds are animals that have two legs, two wings, and feathers. Feather. Yeah, feathers. Okay, and most birds can fly. 
Yes. Okay. So, example. Can you give me an example of a bird? That is not in the picture. Yeah. Bird. Example of a bird is... Um, uh, albatross. Sorry, what's that? Albatross. Hmm. Oh, can you spell the word for me, please? I'm not familiar with the animal. Mm. Albatross? Mm. Oh. oh, let me see first uh, what is this animal. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. Okay. It's a very unique animal. Yes. <clears throat> um, it, it can't be seen in our country. Have you seen this one in your country? Albatross? No. Okay, yeah. Most likely probably in um the western country. Okay. So that is correct. That's a kind of bird too. All right. So let's look at what are the children um draw on the on the picture. So we have to name two mammals and two birds. All right, two. can you name two mammals and two birds in the picture or on the drawing that they showed? What are mammals in the picture? At least two, give me two. Two mammals. A chicken and penguin. Chicken, is it a chicken is a mammal? Are you sure? No. Okay. Give me a mammal first. Mammal. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> Example of a mammal is? The bear. The bear, bear and? Tiger. A tiger. Uh-huh, yeah. Those two are mammals. How about birds? Give me two birds. Penguin. Penguin and? And a bat. All right. Penguin and a chicken? Bat. Oh, bat. Is there a bat here? Is in in um, oh this one <clears throat> yeah oh yeah 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 okay yeah it, a bat is also a bird okay all right so yeah, yeah. oh we will just choose first choose what on the picture only here okay this one only penguin and chicken okay a penguin and a chicken they are birds okay mm -hmm. all right and mammals are tigers okay kangaroos and a bear okay these are examples of mammals all right. Now we have a question right there. Do you think a bat is a mammal or a bird? What do you think? Is what? a bat a mammal or a bird? Is a bat a mammal or a bird? A mammal. Yes, exactly. Okay, why? Why is a mammal a bird? Uh, sorry, sorry. Why is it a bat a mammal? 
Yes, do you know? Do you know why? Do you know the reason why they are mammals, not a bird? Because we think that a bat is a bird, right? Because it has feathers and wings. Yeah. Why do you think bat uh, is a mammal? Yeah, do you know? Do you know the reason why? No. No. Okay. Yeah, so actually the reason why a bat is a mammal, it's because, yes, like all mammals, they can make milk for their young. Yes, a bat can make milk. for their babies yes and also they are not birds because they don't lay eggs bats don't lay eggs okay and they are built very different from a bird okay so look at the bat in the picture it's totally different from a bird right look yes Okay, so that's the reason why a bat is a mammal. Okay, do you understand? Yeah. Yes, good. Okay, so let's, all right, so let's keep this one because it has an audio. We don't have an audio for that. Let's proceed to the next part. Okay, so imagine that you're going to act in a play. What animal do you want to be and why? Okay, let's say you're going to act in a play. What animal do you want to be and why? Yeah, for example, me, I want to be a cat because I love cats and I, I know how they act or when they're hungry, I know how they feel. Okay, something like that. All right, what about you? What animal do you want to be? Mm, I want to be a tiger. Tiger? Uh-huh, why? Yeah. That sounds like great. Mm -hmm. Do you like it? And what are other reasons? Mm. Aside from that. Aside from uh, you like it. It's, because it's breath. Mm -hmm. It's a little breath. Yeah. And. <clears throat> Can you roar like a tiger? Does a tiger roar? Mm -hmm. I can. <laughs> yes. Actually, a tiger looks like a cat, but the tiger is bigger than a cat. Yeah. And it's stronger than a cat. Yes. Okay. So that's a good one. Uh-huh. I get it. Okay. So have you seen a tiger before? Have you seen a tiger before? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, where? Where did you see a tiger? At the zoo. Really? Wow, that's so amazing. Actually, me, I haven't, <laughs> I haven't seen a tiger before, and I wanted, yeah, I wanted to see, maybe soon. <laughs> okay, so, all right, that's good. All right, so next one is to, okay, let's do the, the fifth exercise. What are you good at doing? Mm 
What? Yeah, what are you good at doing? You're good at doing what? For me, for example, me, I'm good at um doing, let's say, oh, I'm good at doing or making. Yeah, you can use making or drawing a bat <laughs> okay or drawing animals i'm good at drawing animals okay how about you what are you good at uh, i'm good at um, skating sorry skating? i'm good at skating yeah oh skating ice like ice skating no Oh, what do you mean? Skating. This one Skating. is this. Is this the word that you're trying to say? Yeah. Yeah. Am I right? Like skating on the road. <laughs> road skating yeah 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 i got it oh that's nice actually when i was a kid i really wanted to try it but unfortunately um i failed on that one i don't know how to skate <laughs> that's good for you yeah do you skate um all day or every time how many um days mm, will you Sometimes? Yeah. All right. I see. That's great. Okay. And what are you not good at doing? Yes. Tell me. Uh, cooking. Cooking? <laughs> yeah. Oh, the same. <laughs> I'm also not good at cooking. And I'm trying to learn. Yeah. I'm trying to learn. How about you? Are you still learning? Learning to cook? No. <laughs> you don't want to learn cooking? Yeah. <laughs> but it's fun, yeah. You know, when you taste your own food, it really is good. Okay. Well, <coughs> now can we try to make it in a sentence, the one that you told me? Can you say, I'm good at? Yeah. Please say, I'm good at... Skating. What? Skating. What? I'm but not. I'm not good. At. At. Cooking. Okay. Yeah, cooking. That's right. Okay. Now here is your sentence. Okay, so you're. Uh, in this part, you are trying to say or state what are you good at and not good at. Okay, good job. Now, we have here writing a sentence about your partner, telling about uh, things about your partner. So, here it is. You have made it already. Okay, so before we go through the next part, I would like to discuss to you about how or what happens when you add ing to a short vowel word that ends in a consonant for example run okay when you add ing we say running right running. okay hop what's what's the next word hop hopping Right. Hopping. Yeah. What about swim? Swimming. Yeah, first swimming. Correct. So every short vowel word that ends with a consonant, we are going to add ing. Okay, so run, running. What about the word walk? Okay, what is to correct Walk. verb if we add ing. Mm -hmm. Walking. 
correct. Walking. Okay. Another one is what happens when you add ing to a word that ends in a silent e. That means when you read the word, you're not going to pronounce the e sound like dance, right? Dance. Okay. So when we say, when we add ing, we say dancing. Right. And writing. Make. Making. Correct. Okay, making. So let's try to make a sentence, okay, out of the words that we made. Okay, let's say, for example, can you make a sentence uh, using the word writing? Yeah, the word writing. Can you make a sentence? A short sentence out of the word writing. Writing. Yeah. A sentence. Mm -hmm. So, for example, I'm going to make a sentence of the word dancing. So, I'm going to say... I'm not good at dancing, but I'm good at singing, all right? So something like that, okay? So you can make it in that way, mm. okay? Can you try it? Okay, this mm -hmm. time you use writing. I'm not good. But writing, but I good at um, dancing. Dancing. <laughs> uh huh. Okay, so you're not good at writing. What kind of writing are you trying to say? Like writing a poem, writing a very long letters. Yeah. What are you, what is the writing that you don't or you can't do? You're not good, I mean. Writing what? Writing poem. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. Okay, so you're, you're going to say I'm not good in writing poem. Mm -hmm. But, okay, let's also... <coughs> make a sentence or connect it to something that you're good at aside from writing but i'm good at let's say i'm good at speaking english right mm. yeah. speaking english all right, this is your sentence. Can you please read? I'm not good in writing poem, but I'm good at speaking English. Okay, that's it. Good job. Okay, so once again, that's how you're going to use the um, verb plus the additional ing in a sentence using I'm good and I'm not good, okay? Do you have any questions of our lesson? Mm -hmm. Any questions about this? Do you understand? No. Sorry? Ah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's good. Okay, so this one is to write the name of an animal. Okay, and spell the name. Your friends must write the word. They have to make a sound like that animal or act like the animal. Oh, this one is a game. Okay, so in this part, I'm going to make the sound of that animal. And you're going to tell me, okay? You're going to tell me what uh, this animal is. Okay? Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Um, all right. 
or maybe I'll just try to share a sound and you're going to listen to the sound of this animal, okay? Okay, wait. All right, wait, wait, wait. Okay, I'll just share first my um, sound. Okay. All right, tell me if you can hear it, okay? Okay, what is that sound of animal? Did you hear that? Mm, yes. All right. Uh, let me mm. just do it again. Oh, that one. The sound is really strong. Okay, what do you think is that to animal? Lion, lion or tiger. <laughs> okay, you can choose only one, only one. Which one do you think for you? Lion. Correct. Wow, you are good in guessing sounds. <laughs> okay, even me, I am. I have confusion of that. I thought also it's a tiger, but this one is a lion actually. Okay, good. All right. Well, I guess we're running out of time now. So, yes, we will just continue everything in our next class. So thank you and see you again. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.